You can use Apple's Motion program to create flying text effects. Click on the text tool and type your title into the Canvas window. You can adjust the parameters of the text by moving over to the Inspector window, then click on the Text tab, and then the Format tab. In this case, I'm going to adjust the font size and slant values. If you don't have a Timeline window, press Command-7 to bring forward the window. Click on the Add Behavior button and select Text Animation, Sequence Text. With this behavior activated, any movement that you make to an individual glyph will automatically be applied to all the other characters. Notice this dark area within the behavior track. Each dark area represents one glyph or character. Drag one of the glyphs and move it outside the visible area within the canvas window. Scale the glyph so it's much larger. You can also rotate the glyph. You'll notice that each individual glyph follows the same path. Notice it takes a while for each character to fly into place. You can change the speed by dragging the behavior track so the animation takes place over a shorter period of time. Notice how this affects the animation. Increasing the spread value allows the next glyph to start its animation earlier in the process. The amount of spread for each individual glyph is displayed as this dark purple area within the behavior track. You may want to add an additional behavior to have each letter fade or blur into place. In this example, let's have each character blur in by adding an additional behavior. Adjust the length and spread of the blur behavior track to obtain the correct look for your animation. Okay, fantastic. Here's the final animation. When you're done, go ahead and save your motion project. You can drag this project icon directly from Motion into Final Cut Pro. For other great tips and tricks like this, or to enroll in an Apple Motion training course, visit GeniusDV.com.